Hey Madeline, I just had a jarring realization and I need to discuss this with you. Your mom. She's still a single mom, right? She hasn't remarried recently, has she? Why are you asking about my mom all of a sudden? Yeah, she hasn't remarried since my dad. Do you think she should get married? I think she's doing pretty fine by herself. So she's still single. This is a problem. A big one. What on earth are you talking about? Why is my mom's relationship status such a huge deal? You should know why she won't remarry. What does her being single have to do with anything? We're meeting my parents tomorrow, remember? I was thinking about it, and then your mom's situation struck me. And, well, my dad doesn't like that sort of thing. What do you mean, that sort of thing? I don't understand what you're trying to say. Can you be a bit more specific so I can understand? And I have a feeling I'm not gonna like what you're about to say. Tomorrow is already nerve-wracking as it is. My dad, he's got a problem with single mother families. What? Caleb, don't be silly. Are you just messing around so I won't feel as nervous about meeting him tomorrow? Thanks, but be a little more serious, will you? Tomorrow's really important for us. No, I'm being completely serious. He doesn't like families that are kind of incomplete. He doesn't accept them as being real families. He believes that the ideal is a nuclear family. He thinks single mothers should strive to remarry, to have a man in the house. And that not doing so is just laziness. I know it's ridiculous. And of course, I don't agree with him. But it might be a good idea to not tell him about your mom. What? You're not joking? That is beyond ridiculous. Make an effort to remarry. Maybe he needs a reality check about why some women choose not to remarry. Also, you realize that we're going to meet them tomorrow to tell them about our engagement, right? Do you honestly believe we can uphold a lie about my mom's status for the entirety of our marriage? And in the first place, why should we have to lie about my family? I accept your family as it is and you should do the same. I can't believe your dad still actually thinks like that. And even if it's difficult for him to change the way he thinks, ugh, fine, that's his opinion. But there's no reason why it should affect the way you choose to live. Yeah, I know, but my dad is strict about that kind of stuff. You don't understand because you haven't met him yet. If you want to get married, you'll have to keep quiet about it, okay? Please? It just makes things complicated if, if he finds out about your mom. Caleb, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. It's impossible. He's bound to find out sooner or later, and it'll get even more complicated when he does. He'll feel as though we tricked him into accepting me as his family. Don't you think that it'd be much worse than telling him straight that he'll have to accept that not everyone has a dad? So I'm gonna tell him the truth. If he doesn't like it, then fine. That won't change how we feel about each other, right? What, you're going to tell him? Madeline, I really don't think that's a good idea. I don't think we should tell him. If we tell him, there's no telling what he might do. Caleb, do you really want to marry me? If you love me for who I am and accept me for how I am, then isn't that good enough for your parents? Are you really happy to lie about me when you introduce me to your dad? Because I think it's wrong. It's not fair to me and it's not fair to your dad. You just want to lie now so you can avoid conflict. But down the line, there will be conflict anyway if you lie to him. Well, yeah, you might be right. I understand where you're coming from. I really do. It's just that you really don't know my dad. Trust me, it's better if we don't tell him anything. What are you so afraid of? You're not going to be alone when you tell him. I'll be right there with you. We're doing this together, remember? Yeah, I know that. I just... I've always been scared of my dad and what he thinks of me. What he might think if I don't do things the way he wants. That's why I've always done my best to make sure that he stays happy. And I've avoided doing things that he might not approve of. I get that it's hard to go against your dad's wishes, but this is your life. And it's going to be our life together. Do you really want to ruin our first step together by lying to your dad? I don't. So tell him it'll be okay. I'm going to have dinner and get ready for tomorrow. So I'll message you tomorrow morning. I'm looking forward to it. Please don't say anything unnecessary tomorrow. Unnecessary? Are you being serious? You think that telling the truth about my mom is unnecessary? Whatever, Caleb. I'm going to be myself when I see your dad tomorrow. I hope that you'll sort out your priorities tonight and we'll come to see that that's the best way forward for both of us. You've got some nerve thinking that some worthless girl like you has any right to marry my son. You're beneath him. Do you understand me? You were brought up by a single mother. 
If you don't have a father, then that makes you inferior. I don't know what got into Caleb and made him think that it would be okay to marry scum like you. But I know that it's all your fault. You must have seduced him. I wouldn't be surprised, since that must be the reason why your mother got pregnant with you and the reason why you don't have a father. Can you hear yourself? You're talking nonsense. You don't know a single thing about me and my mom. You're saying that I must have seduced him because my mother is single right now? What you're saying is so irrational. I don't even know how to explain how wrong you are. And you're the scum here. Do you understand what you did? Let me make this easier for someone like you to understand. You must have heard from Caleb that I run a company, right? What I'm trying to say is my son is the heir to the business. One day, he's going to be running my company. And I can't just let him marry a woman beneath him. It would ruin the reputation of my company has. I guess my warnings about the type of woman he should choose to marry weren't enough for him. I'm disappointed that he let himself be caught by a woman like you. But that's more your fault than it is his. To think that he would actually bring a woman that doesn't even have a father. I'm surprised you actually thought that I would accept you as my daughter-in-law. You must be really underestimating me. I own a company. You could never meet my standards. You're the one that's underestimating me. Do you really think I'll let you get away with this? I can't believe someone like you actually exists. I never once imagined that I would be punched by my own fiancé's father. And just because I told you that my mother is currently living alone, you didn't even let me tell you why my dad isn't with us. And you think you can say that I'm going to ruin your company's reputation? You've already ruined it yourself. If anything, you're a danger to society if you think it's okay to use violence to convey how you feel about something. For a woman like you, a little discipline is necessary in order to keep you in place. People like you don't understand that things are common sense to company owners and powerful men like me. So you need to be taught things the hard way. With pain. Do you understand now? Why you're not good enough for my son? A little discipline? Do you understand that I need stitches for the cut that I got when you hit me? What? Seriously? You needed stitches for that. I didn't even hit you that hard. How fragile are you? This is why women like you are so problematic. You start playing the victim and all I was doing was giving you a lesson in life and you're placing it. It's not a matter of how hard you hit me. The problem is, is you shouldn't have hit me at all. It's unforgivable. You don't seem to understand the gravity of the situation. So let me make it easy for someone like you to understand. You are going to regret what you did for the rest of your life. I'll make sure you answer for it. I swear I do not care what it takes. I'm gonna end you. You can say goodbye to your reputation because you and your company are going down. What are you talking about? What can someone like you do to a CEO like me? Were you planning on reporting it to the police and pressing charges? Maybe cry to the press and get some interviews? Hoping to get some compensation in the process? I advise you not to. You're too poor. Do you really think that someone of your meager means can stand up to a man like me? Do you need me to give you another lesson on your place in society? Because it looks like the first one didn't get through so well. Are you threatening me so I don't report you? You're despicable. No, I'm telling you that if you don't press charges, you won't need it. But you know what? I'm feeling better than I did earlier. I guess that I got everything out of my system when I hit you. It's a shame that you're still not good enough for him. But I'll let you marry Caleb. Happy now? I'm welcoming you to my family, so don't report anything to the police. Otherwise, you'll be the one to regret it. What? So now you'll accept me as your daughter-in-law? Just so you won't get reported to the police? You are threatening me after all. All you've done since we met a few hours ago is try to intimidate me and use violence to control me. And you think that'll work? Of course it will. Someone like you doesn't have any other choice but to follow my orders. And you want to marry my son, don't you? Then that's even more reason for you to not report me. I don't think Caleb will be happy if his fiancé gets his own father arrested. Especially if he understands that I only taught you a lesson for his sake. The second you report me to the police, your engagement to Caleb is over. I won't let him marry an uneducated, disobedient woman like you. You should be more thankful. I am giving you a chance. You wanted to be the wife of a CEO one day, didn't you? You can be if you do as I say. But if you report me, that dream of yours will be over. 
and I'll crush you so hard that you'll wish you'd never stood up to me in the first place. Are you really okay with that? I can't promise that your mother won't be affected by the pressure I put on you. You're a terrible person. I can't believe that you try to use Caleb and my mother against me just so I won't report you to the police. Just because you own a company and have some money doesn't mean you can use other people's weaknesses to control them. But thankfully, neither Caleb nor my mother are my weaknesses. You can dangle my engagement to Caleb in front of me all you want, but I have no intention of getting hooked. So how about you apologize to me properly? What? Do you want me to apologize? For what? I have nothing to apologize for. The least of all to you. I haven't done anything wrong. You assaulted me, Tyler. I think it's a matter of course that you apologize and pay for what you've done. Well, even if you do apologize, nothing will change my mind about reporting you. But don't you think you should show more sincerity? Honestly, if you're like this in your personal life, I can't imagine what you must be like to work under. I suggest you apologize right now before this affects your company. What are you talking about? How can this affect my company? I told you, even if you report me, you can't win against me. You're just a poor girl from a family without a father. What could you possibly achieve in a court case against me? When I can afford the best lawyers and can afford to ruin you and your mother? There's no point threatening me when you have nothing on me. I'm telling you, I'll let you marry my son. So you should think of this as me giving you a second chance. Why don't you show me some gratitude? Or are you too uneducated to do even that? I'm warning you, don't file that report to the police. You lose Caleb, your future, everything. Don't underestimate my influence. Do you really want to do something so reckless? You have no chance against me. You're the one who's threatening me. Clearly, you don't understand the power of money. Even if you did report me to the police, I can easily shut it down with my wealth. That's why you should do as I say and thank me for allowing you to marry Caleb. Now that's decided. We're family and you can't report me to the police. Do you understand? So let me get this straight. You really think that it was okay to punch me because I'm from a single mother household? You must be out of your mind. What problem do you have with single mothers? Were you brought up by a single mother yourself? And she happened to be less motherly than you expected her to be? And that made you despise the idea? Because if that's the case, I might be more sympathetic towards you. But I still have to tell you, you're wrong. I don't despise single mothers. I just don't think that they're good enough to raise successful children. I was raised in a proper family, thank God. And look at me now. As for you, what do you have in a worst case scenario? You might have become a criminal. I don't like the idea of a woman like you getting close to my son. But I'll close my eyes to your faults. It's a shame that I couldn't find a worthy woman for him. But I'll let you marry Caleb. You'll have to hide your background, of course, so keep that in mind. If you let anyone know the truth, it'll ruin my reputation. I don't understand what you're talking about. You seriously think people knowing about my mother being single will be more damaging to you than the fact that you punched me? You still don't understand. Do I really have to spell it out for you? I punch you because I couldn't forgive the idea of a woman like you having the nerve to think that you could ever be good enough for my son. But luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance. You can marry him as long as you don't report anything to the police. You're telling me to keep quiet. And you expect me to accept you as my father-in-law even though you punched me. I'm telling you to do as I say. It's simple. Someone like you doesn't have the power to think or do anything for herself anyway. So just follow my orders. You must be an idiot if you think that I'm just gonna say yes and continue as though nothing ever happened. What did you say? I'm saying that you've really pissed me off and I have no intentions of obeying your ridiculous orders, you piece of trash. I'm going to get my revenge and make you experience hell for what you did to me. What are you talking about? You can't do anything to me. You're the one who should take care not to anger me. I can end you. I only have to give the word. A woman like you isn't allowed to stand up to a powerful man like me. I can crush you without lifting a finger. Not to mention that I can make things difficult for your mother too. Do you really think you can just do something like that? You should think a little more carefully before you make such irresponsible comments. I don't want to marry your son anyway, so I'm going to report you to the police. I told you, you can't use Caleb as bait to coerce me into doing anything. What? Weren't you listening to what I said? 
Or are you so stupid that you've already forgotten? I let you marry him. There's no point in threatening me because I can ruin you. You'll regret ever talking back to me. You'll be begging me for mercy. You're the one that's going to be begging me for forgiveness when you realize what punching me will cost you. And why on earth would you think that I'd still want to marry Caleb? I don't want him. And you can keep him. Find some other woman that's willing to marry such a coward like that. I'm giving you my approval. I'm allowing you to marry him. How can you say that you don't want to marry him anymore? A woman like you doesn't get to reject my son. You should be the one that gets thrown away. But I'm being gracious enough to allow you to. Don't you want to become the wife of a CEO? You lose the chance to become rich and live comfortably. You lose all of that if you dare report me to the police. Whoever said I wanted to become a CEO's wife and live rich? That's all your imagination. That's what you think I want. Because you're prejudiced against people who only have a single parent. Besides, even if I wanted to become a CEO of a company like yours, there's a limit to how rich I could get. I hear that your company's on the verge of bankruptcy. And it's my understanding that it's got something to do with the better than thou attitude you're always dragging around. What did you say? Did you just call my company weak? My company? You don't know the first thing about what it takes to run a company. Don't talk to me like that. Of course I'm talking about your company. Who else is there to talk to on this chat? So no matter how many times you say that you'll allow me to marry Caleb, thanks, but no thanks. I don't want him. He didn't even try to stand up for me when you punched me. He sat there looking uncomfortable. I suppose that's how you've raised him. To never stand up to you. But I never thought that he'd just sit and watch me get punched and not even try to stop you. I was shocked at that time. But I realize he's always been like that and he'll never change. I'm not shocked or sad anymore. Just disappointed. And I can't marry a man like that. So keep him. I already let him know and he made quite the fuss about it. But nothing's going to bring me back. Are we clear on that? You're not going to marry him? Then what was the point of me giving you my approval? You can't be serious. You don't have the right to reject him. You're going to marry my son and that's final. You don't have the right to argue back to me. Uh, this conversation is going around in circles. At first, you were refusing to even accept me as your son's fiancé. And then you found out that I was planning to report you to the police and you began to insist that I had no choice but to marry Caleb. You're just saying whatever suits you at this point in time. Who in their right mind would want to marry a man like that and become the daughter-in-law to a man like you? It looks like Caleb is still sending me messages, begging me to get back together. But it's meaningless. I don't even want to look at him. I don't want to spend a single second by his side. I'm not marrying him. And that's my final decision. I'm going to file this report to the police and you will answer for what you did. Both of you make me sick. How dare you talk about my son and I like that. You're just a woman from an incomplete family. You don't have any right to talk to me like that. Oh, before I forget, I've already given in my report to the police. I'm sure there'll be someone to question you in the next few hours. What? You already told the police? You can't be serious. Mm, it's thanks to my mother. She rushed down to see me while I was still in the hospital getting my stitches. And then she took me home. She has an acquaintance in the local police station and called them to let them know what happened. She's also prepared a lawyer to advise us on how to go forward with the case. We're ready to fight you in court. Didn't I warn you not to do that? I told you, even if I did take it to court, I'll crush you with my team of lawyers. Neither you nor your mom can afford a lawyer good enough to beat the people that I have lined up to defend me. You should take back those charges before it's too late. You should have just given in and married Caleb. When I said that I would give you my approval, you ruined your own life by doing this. Why do you think that we're poor? Just because my mother is single? Really? How outdated can your brain get? There's a limit to how ignorant you can be. <laughs> I'm warning you. Don't anger me any further. Say one more disrespectful thing to me and you will be finished. And on average, people with single mothers are poor. You shouldn't let something as vague as an average influence on how you think about an entire group of people. You might be shocked to hear this, but it seems you're actually very familiar with my mother. I understand that your company has contracts with a large number of other businesses. But there's one company that you're very dependent on and rely on for 70% of your contracts. I wonder what would happen if you were to be cut off from that supply of work. Funnily enough, my mother owns that very company I'm talking about. What? My mother is the CEO of the company your company works for. 
She was furious to hear that you had assaulted me and is saying that she plans to end all contracts with your company. I'm not surprised that she'd react like that. You gave me a cut that needed stitches with a punch that was unprovoked and can never be justified as self-defense. Of course, she wouldn't be able to forgive you as a mother and as a businesswoman. That takes pride in showing integrity in and out of work. I told you that you should apologize, but you refused. And that just proved to my mother that you weren't going to change and that you lack the responsibility expected of a company owner. What are you talking about? There's no point trying to scare me with, with lies like that. It's impossible. There's no way your mother owns a company. She's not even married. How could a woman like that be running a business? What's so wrong about a woman raising a child and running a business all by herself? And since you wouldn't let me explain earlier, before you punch me, let me make it clear now. My mom hasn't always been single. My dad passed away 10 years ago, and she hasn't remarried because she hasn't found anyone she wants to marry or loves more than she loved my dad. You undermine mothers that are single because you assume that they must be defective. But in actual fact, my mother has continued running the business that she and my father started together ever since he passed away, all while raising me. And she's been very successful, whether single, out of choice or not. Single mothers can be successful and raise wonderful children, and the opposite is also true. But don't assume that you'll always be better than them. Maybe it'll be easier for you to accept the reality if I tell you that the company she owns is Rainbow Holdings. Didn't you know that the owner was a single mother? Y you're kidding. You're just making that up. You can't be her daughter. You should keep your delusions to yourself. Th there's no way that you could be related to her. Stop messing around. I'm not messing around. I'm being very serious. Haven't you gotten any calls from your office yet? I'm pretty sure my mom's already made a few calls to them about canceling all of the active contracts you have. She's pretty pumped up to force your company into bankruptcy. I don't know all the details, so I suggest you hurry up and contact your office and find out what's going on. I'm afraid it looks like your threats were all bark and no bite. And you'll be the one that's going to end up being crushed. Wait a minute. I got a message from my office. They're saying that your mother cancelled all the contracts that we have with her company. You got to be joking. How am I supposed to keep up our business running if you don't have any work? What have you done? You've got to stop this. I didn't know that your mother was the owner of any holdings. I wouldn't have done it if I knew. I, I swear. You've got to believe me. Why didn't you tell me? If only you had told me in the beginning, I would have welcomed you into my family without any argument. You should have just told me if it was your own fault for not being honest with me. Of course, I wouldn't have reacted like that if I knew who you were. I mean, I just thought that you were a woman who had been brought up by a single parent household. It's not like I punched you because I had anything against your mother. You can't do this to my company. Tyler, how about you shut up for a second and think about what you did? What did you say to me? It doesn't matter who I am. You shouldn't have punched me. Who my mother is is besides the point. Listen carefully. It's very simple. You shouldn't punch people. Do you understand me? Even if I was poor, even if my mother raised me by herself for part of my life, that doesn't give you any reason to punch me or anyone else. You're going to get what you deserve for punching me. And that's that. You've ruined your own reputation by assaulting me. You must be really stupid if you think that this is in any way my fault. I don't even understand how you managed to build your own business. If that's the common sense you've lived by up until now, I pity the people that have to work for you. But I guess they'll be free after your company goes bankrupt and is bought up by my mother at the very least. Your employees won't have to lose their jobs because of your stupidity. It's enough to just ruin your life. I'm very sorry. Excuse me? I don't know how I can apologize enough for my behavior. I, I shouldn't have acted on impulse like that. It was very wrong of me. And I'm sincerely very sorry for punching you. I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble and so much injury. I wasn't thinking properly when I punched you. I wish I could take it back. I'm extremely embarrassed about my behavior and I promise to reflect on it so something like this will never happen again. So would you please forgive me? <laughs> what are you talking about? You can't honestly think that I'll forgive you if you start apologizing now. Where was the speech when I first asked you to apologize? Why couldn't you apologize to me before you knew who my mother was? It's too late to expect me to forgive you. Unfortunately, the fact that you're only apologizing now just proves how lacking you are in sincerity. You only want to save yourself from everything that's going to happen after you lose your company. But sadly for you, I have no intention of forgiving you. 
then I'm not going to marry your son. So you're going to have to accept your punishment. Your company is finished. Just thinking about how I'd have to suffer if I did marry Caleb makes me shiver. But I'm glad I'm free of that. Please, don't do that. Forgive me. I I'll do anything. Please, just don't take my company away from me. It's all I have. If you really thought that your reputation and your company was that important, you should have thought about that before you did something as stupid as punching me. Don't you understand that as a member of society, you have a responsibility to treat others with respect? And that, in your position, your words and actions are scrutinized? Well, even if I warn you of that now, it's far too late. As early as tomorrow, you'll lose your company and you'll no longer be the CEO. But that has nothing to do with me anymore. You're nothing to me. Please don't say something that cold. We were just about to become father and daughter-in-law. Caleb still loves you, and he's saying that he still wants to marry you. If you could just forgive me and take him back, I think that we could become a very happy family. I can learn from my mistakes, and I'll make sure to treat you as though you're my own daughter. I'll even pay for the hospital fees and give you however much you want as compensation. Anything to make you happy. Please, can't we work things out? We don't even have to involve my company. I'm begging you. No matter how much you beg, no, we can't work things out. I already tried that, but you threw it back in my face. Because according to you, I'm not worthy. Remember, you're seriously mistaken about a lot of things. Mistaken? About what? First of all, that either me or my mother could honestly accept an apology like that after you insulted us both so much today. And you crossed the line by punching me. You also seem to think that everything will be okay if you just apologize and act like you're sorry. But if you don't even understand why what you did was wrong, then there's nothing you can do to save yourself. You can start reflecting on your actions all you want, but it's too little too late. Your life is over. You're going to be arrested for assault. So I suggest you hurry up and accept that you're going to lose your position, whether my mom ends contracts with your company or not. Yeah, I'm going to be arrested. That's going way too far. You're making a big deal out of nothing. Out of nothing? Are we talking about the same nothing? The nothing I had to get stitches for? Why don't you listen to me and shut up? You're just making things worse for yourself the more you talk. You're going to be arrested and your company is going bankrupt. Your life is over. Just like I warned you it would when I first told you to apologize. And it's all your own fault. This all began because you had ridiculous prejudices against me and mistakenly thought that they justified punching me. Please wait. All I'm asking for is one more chance. Please, I'll pay you for anything you want me to. Just please don't take my company away from me. I'm afraid I already have money, so I don't want yours. You'll just have to do your best and deal with your time in prison. You said a lot of things about single mothers and belittled them for raising problem children that would eventually turn into criminals. But it looks like men like you cause much more harm to society with your egotistical and self-righteous attitudes. What do you think? You're the man that lost his company and became a criminal in one day, despite being brought up by both parents. In the end, things took a turn that no one would have predicted. Tyler's arrogance and prejudice had finally caught up with him, leading to a chain of events that brought his world crashing down. It was like a daily story of justice prevailing, and I couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction. Tyler's assault on me didn't go unpunished. He was reported to the police, and soon enough, he found himself behind bars. It was a stark reminder that actions have consequences. No matter who you are, or what your status may be, my mother, with her unwavering determination, utilized her position as the head of Rainbow Holdings to cancel all the contracts Tyler's company had with us. When his own company plunged into bankruptcy, my mother swooped in and acquired it. It was poetic justice that his own actions led to the downfall of his empire. Tyler's life crumbled before his very eyes, and he experienced the kind of hell he never thought possible. The reality of his situation hit him hard, and he realized the magnitude of his mistakes. He had lost everything, his company, his reputation, and his freedom. It was a harsh lesson in humility. Caleb, who'd initially seemed oblivious to his father's behavior, wasn't spared from the aftermath. He was deeply upset that I wouldn't marry him, but, but he couldn't ignore his father's role in the debacle. Despite his own shortcomings, Caleb distanced himself from his father. No matter how much Tyler begged and pleaded, Caleb remained resolute. Even Caleb's mother, once unaware of Tyler's actions, eventually learned the truth. She was appalled by her husband's behavior and demanded a divorce. 
she expressed her embarrassment at having married someone who could discriminate against single mothers. In the divorce settlement, she took everything Tyler had left, leaving him with nothing but the consequences of his actions.